guys, so today I am going to be doing my birthday book haul, also known as February book haul. So for my birthday, I I got a lot of really nice things. I got my my lights, which have been a featured in my past like three or four videos from Tyler. Um, I also got a hand mixer from his family because I love to bake and I've been needing a new one and that one has an eject button and that was like the highlight of my life. I also got something from my mom and my dad that I am completely and utterly in love with and it is my Kindle. I got a Kindle Paperwhite for my birthday and I have quite a few books on there and I'm quite in love with it and I just recently purchased my case and I finally got it. Uh, it just came like last week and so <laughs> to start off my book haul I wanted to share this because most of the books I'm hauling in this book haul are on here and not physical copies but I still have five? Five physical, no six physical copies! Woo! Six! So I figured I would start with the books on my Kindle and I'm going to attempt to hold them up like this and show them to you but if that does not work then instead of seeing my Kindle right here you'll end up seeing a picture that I got off the internet of the books. So these aren't in order because if they were in order well I, I honestly don't remember which order I bought them in so this is just the order that I have them on my list right here. The first one is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord and I have been wanting this book for a while. It interested me a long time ago on Amazon and I just had not picked it up so when I finally got it on my Kindle and I'm excited to read it. I'm very excited. I'm like I've been in a really big contemporary kick lately. I read Aristotle and Dante and One Man Guy and then I read How Not to Fall in Love and they're all like cute contemporary reads. So I need I, I needed more of those in my life so I got a bunch of those. Following suit with the cute contemporary reads I picked up Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn which I think somebody said is like the adult name for Morgan Matson. Um, like the, the adult genre of Morgan Madsen. So I was very excited to pick that one up. And it was only $2.99. It was on sale. How could I not buy it? The next book is a YA romance and I regret buying it because I paid full price for it and it is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I have a review for this book and it's going to be in my wrap up and the review will be linked down in the doobly doo. You'll be able to tell from my review that I did not like this book at all. Like very minuscule amount of like towards this book. It's like I, I really didn't like it. So the next one is Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I didn't know it was co-written until now. Um, I picked up this one before I finished Ugly Love. I just really hope that it's better than Ugly Love because I want to like Colleen Hoover's book. She has a lot of books that everybody loves. I just didn't like Ugly Love and I'm hoping that that one lives up to my expectations for it. I heard that it's really good from Nicole at Let's Talk Books. I'm kind of hesitant to read it now that I didn't really like Ugly Love, but I am going to give it a chance just because I don't want to be one of those people that reads a, one book from an author and then says, oh, I don't like that author at all and doesn't read anything by that author ever again. Next is Shocker, another romancy book. I don't I actually don't think it's YA, I think it's new adult or actually adult, I can't remember. But I got it because the movie's coming out and I was really interested in it and it was only like 7 bucks and it's got the movie cover and I'm pretty sure that's the guy that plays Finnick. So it is Love Rosie by by Cecilia Ahern, 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 I'm not sure. I didn't see the movie yet because I want to read this first. I heard that this is all in email form, like emails back and forth to each other, which could be pretty cool or could be pretty not cool. I'm not too sure. I, I'm not too sure now that I'm hearing that, but I'm hoping that it's really good. It, it used to be called Where Rainbows End, um, but it's got Lily Collins and I'm pretty sure that's the guy that plays Finnick, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it is. And I picked this up because of the movie. It, it interested me and I'm hoping that the movie's really good, but I'm hoping that this is really good and that the movie will end up being the same. 
Wow, that was a really bad description. This next one was actually free, and so when I saw it, and it looked, it's another contemporary, I think it's a YA contemporary read, but it was free, and it actually sounded really good, so I downloaded it to my Kindle, and it is The Boys of Summer by CJ Duggan, and I was kind of attracted by the cover, because it's a classic kissing cover, but I just thought it might be be really really good and it was free and I kind of can't resist free books so I had to download that one um, hopefully it's good I actually will do a review on that one once I read it because if it's a free if it's a free ebook I'm gonna tell people about it if it's really good so let's hope it's really good so I can do a really good review for it <laughs> I do have other books on here in my like my cloud and it's like not on my device yet but they're mostly books that I've gotten from NetGalley. Um, if you guys want me to do some sort of video about the books that I have from NetGalley that I plan on doing reviews for once I read them, uh, I can do that if you want. Just let me know somewhere down in the comments or like this video or something. Just to let me know that you do want that kind of video done. This next book is a book that I actually got for my birthday, and it is a physical book. My dad took me out to get a gift card for my Kindle so that I could start buying books. Like, he got me a Visa gift card, and he was going to get me, like, I think an $100 one, but then I saw this book, and he said, I'll get you a $75 one and this book. And I was like, deal. That is a good deal, because I've been wanting this book for forever. And, oh, I just realized that it's a little bit dented. Oh. <laughs> I don't know when that happened, but that's sad. Um, Tyler and my mom didn't want me to get it because I already have a copy of the book. But my my case was that it was the pretty movie cover and I couldn't not have it because I needed it. So, uh, I'm sure that some people will know what it is, but if not, then this book is The Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James movie cover. Okay, it's beautiful, and I've seen the movie twice now, and I needed this cover, I needed this version of it, and I actually read this copy of it before I went to see the movie the first time, which was like the week after my birthday. It was like a couple days before Valentine's Day, because I got to see an, a, like an early screening of it. It was like the day before it actually came out, and my dad got me tickets to that, so I went to see it, and I had just finished this book. That, that's all. I, um, if you want to know more of my thoughts on the movie and more about me talking about this book, I'm actually going to link the live show that me, Maria, and Nicole from Let's Talk Books did. Um, we did it on their channel and we talked about the book, we talked about the movie, and that'll be linked down below. It's like a two hour long live show just talking about this and talking about books. So you should go watch it. The next two books I picked up are books that I got with my chapters gift card that Kiana which I will <laughs> wow there's gonna be a lot of links in this description but I'm gonna link the cover that me and her did she played guitar and I sang and it's here on my channel so that's in the doobly-doo too um, but she got me a gift card and a calendar which is up there I have yet to hang it on my wall it's gonna go over here on this wall um, but she got me Tiffio's calendar, Tiffio's pen, and then she got me a gift card. So with that gift card, I picked up the book that I'm about to show you now and the book I'm about to show you after that. The first book that I picked up with her gift card is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. This is actually the, I think it's the UK covers, and it's the, the paperback cover, and I actually really like these. Um, I couldn't find the hardcover version and I almost didn't get this one because this was part of a box set and I don't think the girl was supposed to but she did and she took this copy out of the box set and said here just go buy this one and I'm like okay. So I did and I didn't get in trouble for it and I, I, I'm really excited to actually start reading this series and then I'm probably going to have to get the second and third of this series on Book Depository because they have the UK covers and I don't want them to not match so I'm gonna have to pick them up there because I can't just go back and say yeah take the second and third book out of the box set for me please. The second book that I got with that gift card is Ferris by Marissa Meyer and I am currently reading it right there I'm only like 23 pages in. Um, not sure how I like it so far. Honestly, I'm not too fond of Lavana, and I'm not too fond of Channery, 
And honestly, I like the, the inside cover though. This is gorgeous, this art. Okay, I know that people are complaining that this is the same as the one in the back. And that there was supposed to be like more art than this. But I am satisfied with that because it is freaking beautiful, okay? Just beautiful. That being said, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling the book right now. The last three books I'm going to be hauling all came from the same place and they were sent to me for review by Austin Macaulay Publishers. I have a video of um, me unboxing them and I also have a giveaway for the duplicate copies that I got so that'll also be linked down below. There's a lot of links, just check them all out down there. The first book is Perfect Match by Ernest Barrett and I am very excited to read this one. This one, like I said, was probably the one that I was most excited to get. And I have Hi Hawaii by B.A. Smith and it's kind of another not really contemporary. I actually think it's like new adult or actually adult. But it, from the sounds of it, it kind of reminded me something like Billy and Me by Giovanna Flexure, which is right here, but you can barely see it. Sorry. <laughs> And the very last book is Flight to Eternity by J.R. Harrison. And this one is actually quite small. I think it's like 127 or 125 pages. So this is probably going to be one that I'm going to fly through really, really fast, really, really soon. There is actually a book I forgot, and it is How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts. I got sent this book for review in an e-copy, which I have actually on my phone. And uh, I got sent that by Entangled Teen, which I actually finished and I'm going to be filming a review for very soon. I'm going to end up having this book haul up and then after the book haul it'll be my wrap up in TBR and then it'll be a couple reviews and that'll be one of them. So watch out for that and I'll link it down below when I'm done filming it and editing it and putting it up. So those were all the books that I got for my birthday and for review and um... Yeah, now I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be going on some sort of book buying ban. I still have yet to figure out the details of that. If you guys have any suggestions on what kind of book buying ban I should go on, comment them down below. Like, what kind of book buying ban have you gone on that worked? I, I'm really not sure what kind of ban is going to work for me, honestly. Because I'm one of those people that I go out and the first thing I do is go to the book section. So that's going to be really difficult for me not to do. Um... I do have some money left on a gift card that I can spend, so if I buy a couple books with that, that's okay. But I think I might only be able to get one book with that. But I am going to go on some sort of ban where if I read so and so many books, then I can get one or two books for that many books that I read. Not 100% sure, so give me some ideas on good book buying bans down below. So I am now going to go do a wrap up in TBR because we're technically at the end of the month. And I don't think I'm going to be reading many books between tonight and all of tomorrow. And yeah, tomorrow's the last day of February. And then we're into March, which is kind of exciting because we're getting that much closer to spring. So with that, I will be seeing you guys in my next video.